Now that we have all of the uh, programming figured out, what we're going to do is we're going to take the relay switch off and we're going to get ready to put in uh, a wire that we can connect the lamp to, a uh, high voltage wire, something that will plug into the wall. And for that, I simply went out and got a regular old extension cord. It's uh, called a uh, straight blade uh, and it has two blades that plug in, um, no ground, and that's just a hot and a neutral. If we take a look at the end of this, you can see that one of the blades is bigger than the other one. And the thin blade is the hot line and the big blade is the neutral. So neutral always goes to the lamp and then we're going to run the hot line through the relay so when the relay is disconnected there's not going to be any voltage at the lamp. So following that back we're going to find the middle of the extension cord and we're going to cut just the hot line. And uh, going to be a little careful with this um, and once it's cut uh, a little bit of uh, working with it, uh, we're, we're just going to pull it apart and uh, get ready to do a little splicing. Mm. But, uh, yep. Okay, so uh, the neutral's intact. We're dealing with uh, high voltage here and we have to put this on two little small set screws. So what I have is we don't want this just to be out in the open. Uh, I have a little case here. Uh, this is actually from a Cat5 uh, junction box. Uh, but the size of the Cat5 connector and this relay are just about the same size. So what I want to do is put them in the back side and close this up so that I'll have an insulation between um, what's going to go in and the high voltage and the low voltage. There's a couple screws here. I'm taking those out. And then this should pop out. Uh, okay. Now then, uh, it, this it's just about the same size, so that it's going to be a bit snug. And again, this is really just to insulate this device uh, since we are dealing with the high voltage. Um, all right. That actually works out pretty well. So now I'm going to take these cables and I'm going to strip them back. Uh, I've got a, just a regular pair of wire strippers here. And I'm going to make sure not to pull away too much insulation. Uh, the more copper that's exposed, the more chance you have that uh, it's going to short out on something. So uh, a little bit of patience. And then as I snip them, uh, I'm turning them clockwise. Um, and that's just to pull all of the uh, wire strands together, uh, make it easier to fit into the little knife switch that's in here for the, for the relay. Uh, this relay is normally open until it ha senses a voltage uh, between uh, three and five volts, and then it closes. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the lamp ever being on um, if there's no power to the device. All uh, right. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a tight fit. Uh, so as I put this in, I'm also going to turn it clockwise. Uh, and then by doing that, I, I'm making sure to go with the, the threads of the wire. A uh, couple of turns. And I want to seat it all the way up to the insulation again so that none of the copper wires are showing. And then it's just a matter of putting the uh, set screw back in on this one and make sure that's good and tight. All right, that's in there. Um, and then the other one, I'm not really gonna be able to turn. Uh, so I just have to make sure that it goes in and again, right up to the insulation so that the copper wires aren't spread out at all. If they were to touch each other in such a close space, uh, it would surely short it out. Okay, ordinarily uh, I would consider tinning these to hold the strands of wire together uh, and that's just a matter of touching it with a soldering iron and putting a little uh, solder 
on it and all that would do is hold it together but because this is such a, a tight uh, tolerance uh, I n didn't want to add any extra width to the wires okay so now that's in there uh, I just gotta try to figure out how this is gonna go into this little case uh, okay so uh, got a couple zip ties to hold this in and then what I want to try is to get this to come out the back end and then the ribbon cable uh, to come out the front end that way there's a separation between the high voltage and the low voltage um, and I, if I, I'm gonna put if I put this on here um, just to kind of clean it up uh, and hold it all together. Well, zip ties are your best friends in this situation. Uh, they'll pull the wires out of the way and they're really easy to remove uh, with a pair of snips if you, uh, if you didn't happen to put them in the right place. Okay, that cleans that up. And now, um, uh, well, it fits a little bit better this way. Um, so I think I'm going to have to just make a quick little adjustment. Let me uh, spin this cable. I'll put this cable out the front end, which is where the, the Cat5 input went. And then I'm just going to wrap the extension cord cables around and put them through the back. Another zip tie here, uh, just to hold them together. And this is going to act as a uh, strain relief too. So uh, once this is in, uh, if there's any tension that's put on it, it won't pull against uh, the terminals uh, where that hot wire has been connected in. And then I won't have to worry about it slowly working its way free. Uh, not, uh, not a permanent fix, but for the sake of prototyping, uh, this is going to allow me to really kind of put it out where I need it to be and not really worry about any of these connections clicking in. And uh, a little bit of a push together. Uh, I've got to just get that wire through there. It's normally meant for Cat5 cable. Oh, there we go. And this will just pop together. There we go. All right. Uh, that actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. We got the low voltage through the front and the high voltage through the back. So that's going to plug into the outlet. This is going to plug into uh, the Grove Pi. And so let me get a, this sort of sorted out a little bit. And I can plug any lamp I want into this. I just had to clean that up a little bit, um, and now we're back. So I've got it all hooked up. Um, I've got my Raspberry Pi running. I've got the motion sensor here in front, um, and I've got my relay in this little casing plugged in. Before I plug this in, I wanted to put my continuity tester on it and make sure that uh, everything's working before I put high voltage in. Let's run a little low voltage. So I'm going to do the neutral first because that's a constant line, and so we should hear a tone when I touch it. And there you go. And you can actually see that it uh, gave me a little bit of a, a continuity reading. So now the broken line, which is a small blade, I'm going to touch it and I shouldn't get a signal. And I don't. So that signal is being disrupted by the relay. OK, so I'm going to run the program now and that's going to turn this on. So as soon as it turns on, that relay should close and I will get a signal. So let's test that. Okay, it's running, and there's my signal. All right. So I know that the relay is working properly, and in a few seconds, it's going to turn off. There we go. All right, now that I've tested for low voltage, I feel confident being able to plug this in, and I shouldn't have any problems. All right, let me just shut the program off there. Uh, let's unplug it, 
and I'm going to plug it in and now I'm going to get the lamp. I have this little stem of a, of a lamp with a bulb. Um, it's just a little fluorescent light bulb with a quick lamp stem. It's good for uh, keeping it up. So I have this plugged in and turned on and the program's running and since I was right in front of it, it's activated. So I'm a, if I stand still, it should turn off in about 20 seconds. There we go. All right, so if I move back in front of it again with my hand, it's only uh, 20 centimeters out, you can see that it turns back on. And it's got a timer on it that we set for uh, 20 seconds so that it'll stay active as long as someone's in there. And if I move outside of that 20 centimeter range, which can be changed in the program, after 20 seconds again, it'll turn off. Perfect. That's what I call a successful test right there. Now it's time to go and put it on the hallway lamp.